working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner's circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and I hope everybody survived the celebration. Yeah, I hope so, too. <laughs> did, you, did you survive, right? Pretty close, yep. <laughs> All right, well, well, I'll let you do your job, and then we'll get down to business. How's that? Yeah, we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KDB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Remember the winner's circle. You got the gift shop, you got knives, you English saddles and accessories, English and cutback, Western and trooper saddles and accessories, complete line attack, bits, spurs, training aids, stable supplies, grooming medication, horse clothing, riding apparel, accessories, and footwear. While you're in town, Go down to Winter Circle and tell them what a horse sent you. The Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect horse to bring a family together for fun-filled days and nights of competition. From the youngest and the smallest in the family to the oldest and the biggest, the Tennessee Walking Horse provides an avenue for the entire family to enjoy competing together. If you ride one today, you will own one tomorrow. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm still pushing one thing, Jerry, and that's the our horse to go into versatility competition. Oh, yes. the, this father and son team over here, they do a great job. We're we're gonna be picking up sci-fi this week, and he's he's got him doing so much. But this one of the things I like is they walk them through it. I mean, they even walked him through a creek. He's already going yeah. through a creek. Mm -hmm. But they walked him through it, got him doing different stuff out there, and then they walked him through the teeter-totter, they walked him through the platforms, and now he says, hey, Jerry says he's ready to go. They, they so, do a wonderful job with them horses. Oh, they do. They, yeah. they do a great job with them. And they don't charge you an arm and a leg, but... Uh, the, the, and the horses look good. I'll ride by there, and they let them run wild out in the pasture, yeah. you know, which I really like. I like to see a horse out there in the pasture. They don't get as hyper. Yeah. So that's pretty good. But now they they do. They they do a good job. And y'all, just give them a call, 931-434-8420. Then you can call in if you want to sell the horse once he gets trained. Put him on one of these sale places groups or websites where they're selling these horses and let them bid it out you know that'd be a good thing to, to show people the way different things a horse can do oh, and yeah. stuff like that and you wouldn't believe how people get amazed of this watching that horse step up on that stool like that and, well you know. the way they act out in the pasture and out in the field yeah it, it's a big thing big thing plus i have uh I've got some, still got jewelry. I sold quite a bit during celebration, but I've still got some. And the, I thought that the lady was going to buy those diamond studs, but problem came up. 
so it didn't sell. So anybody want a great buy on a set of diamond studs? You're talking about making your sweetheart happy. <clears throat> It's getting that time of year. <laughs> it's getting it's getting close to Christmas. Christmas and I got up. I got a deal on them, and I, I tell you we we started researching them diamonds and and they are priced right. I got two bracelets, those two gold bracelets right there, not the belt buckle but the other two, the the shoes and the bits. I got a heck of a deal if you buy them both. You buy them both, one heck of a deal. So they're wanting to sell as much of this as possible. We've got earrings, we've got the jackets, we, you name it, and, and I've got it. And I've got good prices on all of it. I had one gentleman come over here, and uh, they bought some, and then he left, and then his wife called back, and she said, are you at the studio? I said, yes. Yeah. She said, we're on the way. <laughs> so she brought him back. She had to come back and get yeah. some more. So just, it, yeah, that's just the way it worked out. I will say this right here. We got our YouTube results back for uh, August. Right here it is. Now, they says September results, but that, that's my mistake. That's August results that we got in September. 64 new subscribers, 35.6 thousand total views. But what I was most impressed with is 161,600 minutes viewed. That's over 2,698 hours. Yeah. I mean, and that's people watching our horse. That's the great part about it. They are watching the Tennessee walking horse. You're exactly so right. That, that's, that's what we want. That's yeah, what I want. I too. want them to I mean, see to our horse, horse in action. That's the biggest thing. That, they see Jerry Williams on a horse. <laughs> see him in a cart. Yeah. I bet that. I watch videos all the time. <laughs> I, I love watching training cart videos, which I know you, you're real big in the training oh, carts, yeah. which I, I think that's great. But a lot of your trainers really get them out there and work them, work them without action devices or anything. And that's something we're working on now is a, is a new video that uh, is going to take our horse from when the HPA was formed till now on all the changes that have been made in the progress that the walking horses made. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going to start watching some video. Now, these are the classes from the celebration that I really liked. Owner Amateur English Country Pleasure class. This was a great class. It was a real good class right here. You know, a lot of people don't realize it, but everybody thinks you got to have a big performance horse to be in this industry. Hey, that's not no, true. It ain't true. A lot of these people that are riding the flat shot horses, they do the performance horse as well. It's just a, a good thing. You know, a good horse is a good horse. I don't care what position he plays. If he's a performance, light shot, heavy shot, or whatever, if he's doing his job, you know, that's, that's all you can ask for. That's the only thing that matters. And, that's and right. It's good from start to finish. Yeah. That, that's the thing about it. You look at what you've got, you get on your horse and you ride, and you go to shows. I seen where uh, Leanne Tibbs had won at the celebration, but she loves these country boy shows. Yeah. And she was getting knocked for that. Ain't no reason for that. Owner Amateur English Country Pleasure winner, Gigi's Majestic and Elsie Bradford. Her mother tickled me. She said, you would think that I wouldn't cry like I do, but she said every time she wins, it just thrills me to death. That that, that has been a good horse, yes. a real good horse. He has won several championships. And Elsie's just a beautiful young lady. She's super, super nice. You know, like on this horse right here, they found his niche where he, where he can win that world championship. Yeah, well, she came back and she was reserved in the, Owner Amateur Western. That's right. And she went from inside English to outside Western. Yeah. And then she won another Reserve World Grand Champion. 
You can't beat that. No. Won a world championship and two reserve world championships in different divisions. That tell you how talented that horse is. That horse have an English saddle on right there, and he can come back with Western saddle. He's and then come back with English. Yeah. Now here, here's a class that everybody likes. Amateur all day pleasure. Yeah. I can get into that. Me too. Yep. I can get into that even, you know, just go out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we need to do, Jerry. We need to saddle up on a Saturday and just go in the woods and ride all day. Yeah. Sci-fi, that'd that be where I'd take sci-fi. Mm. <laughs> Tell them, let's go get it. Right there is a good one. That class is full of good horses. Yes. You know, in this class right here, <clears throat> You want a horse with a head shake and a back end, but you don't want him with too much head shake because it's an all day pleasure. You want something right. where he's smooth and Just easy smooth ride. ride. Yeah. Right like that horse right there. there. I'd be smoking Joe and Joel Johnson. The Tanner and Tucker Johnson. That's what you call a, almost a perfect all day trail pleasure horse right there. Well, I can tell you that is one family that's really enjoyed that horse. The question is, it's when Susie going to get, say, hey, fellas, it's my turn. <laughs> I got to ask her about that. Because that is one, I remember the first time I saw that horse was at the barn. Yeah. And I, I told him, I said, man, that horse right there, just, he, he just smooth and equal. There he is. He come back yep. from the first owner amateur 12 to 17. Now, this is youth division. He's right here, a lot of patience. Oh yeah. A lot of saddle time, mm -hmm. a lot of riding. And there he is. Here's World Grand Championship. Two world championships and a world, world grand, grand championship yeah. in adult and youth. Yeah. That, that's the key, adult and youth. Country pleasure, amateur owned and trained. This is a class that a lot of people can get involved in. Oh yeah. I mean, it doesn't take much. All you got to do is get out there and ride your horse. Well, walking horse will fall into gear if you ride him enough. Yeah. Pretty one right there. You know, it just amazes how you can watch them coach from the day you first start them mm -hmm. until when they turn out to be like this here. Right. I mean, you can, and one day, I mean, they'll just hit, they'll just click, and everything will fall right in gear. That's what it takes, though. It takes saddle time. That lady right there has had a lot of saddle time. Now she works yeah. at it. We starting coach now, and now you're just wondering where would they end up? Would it be performance or pleasure? You know? Well, I tell you nowadays, Jerry, in all honesty, I, I think people ought to, if, if they don't go performance, they look at the pleasure but then look at all the other avenues for the walking Walk horse. That's right. I mean, we've got extreme cowboy competition. We've got versatility competition. We've got endurance. I mean, there's there's avenues out there that that we don't know. That's right. And I still think that there is an avenue if somebody would get with it and really push it. But when we used to have those races. Oh yeah. Yes. There's Hey Charlene. And Amanda Manis for Holton Manis, Country Pleasure, Amateur Owned and Trained. 
Now that's what I'm talking about right there. You can ride that horse all day on a trail yeah. ride, and everybody will be wanting to ride him. You're right. He's flashy. I'm gonna ride her. Hey, Charlene. Now that's one. I may be looking at showing her and breeding her too. Yeah. Beautiful horse. Right here, light shot five and under. That's what to look at. Oh yeah. Even even there, even in the light shot five and under class. Watch the different walks on these horses. Each one of them has a different way of walking. And I want to point out one other thing. Look at the English attire versus the Western. Look where the horse's head is. Yes. English got that head up, shaking. Mm -hmm. Western, head's supposed to be down and shaking. But as the lady once said, they ain't walking and shaking, they ain't walking. That's They're, right. They ain't a walking horse. Here I seen a video on Facebook. I laughed till I thought I'd cry. A camel. Yes. A guy mm -hmm. said way back that, beyond the hump. Right. And they put action device, you can see they yeah. got an action device on that, and that, <laughs> that he's doing it. Right there he is, the Mexican Mafia. These people are from Tullahoma, Tennessee. They were the reserve winner, World Reserve World Championship, the Mexican Mafia in Ryan County. That's a nice horse. Yes, it is. Very nice. I like it's lit up. And he's got some walk, too. Good walk. Yep. But as again, that's a different division yeah, right there. That's it. Here's your owner amateur two-year-old country pleasure. You'll see a lot of these riders in multiple classes. Especially Kimberly Walden. Yes. Now she just flat out loves to show and she, she's got, she shows mules and everything. She likes it now. Her and her husband, Perry. Oh, yeah. They're real horse people. Yep. Perry is a good one. Yeah. You know, right now they've got uh, the shooting, horseback shooting going on over there. Yes. He, he's off the wall in Phil Donovan for Phil and Holly Donovan. Your amateur two-year-old country pleasure winner. I like that name. He's off yeah. the wall. Good ride. That's a, that's a pretty horse. Oh yeah, I, I love it. Horse. I love the nice gray. They're nice. I'll let you do your, your thing again because we're going to come back with some more video. We'll be right back after these messages. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farm in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. Agenda Wins started his career under the guidance of Herbert Derrickson, winning his first outing as a two-year-old in Manchester, Tennessee. After a great two-year-old season, Jen would win his first outing as a three-year-old. He was then purchased by Harold Roberts. Harold won a competitive amateur class with him, then turned the reins over to trainer Blaze Picard, who would win both the World Championship and World Grand Championship three-year-old classes. 
This would be followed by Kendra Myers winning the Amateur Four-Year-Old Grand Championship, and then Jen would go on to win World Championships in both Amateur and Open Show Pleasure Divisions. With World and World Grand Championships in both Open and Amateur Divisions, the decision was made to stand this talented Black Stallion in honor of the man who saw his greatness, Harold Roberts. A Jen Dwin is now standing at Sugar Creek in Shelbyville, Tennessee. Make an appointment to breed your mare today, 931-680-0897. What's wrong with the Humane Society of the United States? Despite its name, the Humane Society of the U.S. is not affiliated with your local pet shelter. Charity Watch gives HSUS a D grade, finding around half of each donation is spent on overhead. Where does the money go? To pay some sketchy people. The previous CEO left under a cloud of sexual harassment. The current CEO, who makes over $400,000 a year, came from PETA, the same organization that kills thousands of cats and dogs a year. Then there's John Goodwin. He's a lobbyist who used to be a spokesperson for the Animal Liberation Front, a group that supports arson and terrorism, according to the FBI. The Humane Society of the United States might sound nice, but there's a lot you don't know. Visit HumaneWatch.org to learn more. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> We showed that video about the Humane Society yeah. for one purpose. Everybody needs to ask your congressman, why do you do things that support those people? Yes. Knowing what they are. Let's watch some video. I told him, I said, they, they do all this stuff, paid people to lie under oath, and then we got congressmen out there that do their becking for them. Look at there. That's the man right oh, there. Oh, yes. He's a good horse. Hey, he's a great horse. He is a great horse, no doubt about it. That, that class was full of good horses, though. Oh, yeah. Yes, you. Owner Amateur Elite Gentleman Stallions. There he is, Mr. Heisman and Bruce McDonald for Robin and Bruce McDonald. Owner Amateur Elite Gentleman Stallion winner. That's a real talented, talented horse. He just got some flat walk to him. He, I think he's 16, 16 years old now. Yeah. 16, I wonder 17. how they bred him any, you know what? I don't know. I need to ask Bruce that. Right there is Mr. Heisman, and this was his reserve world grand championship. Yeah. His horses show multiple oh, yeah. times at the celebration. Right here is two-year-old mare section A. Tell you what, now this this got uh, exciting. Yeah. But I watched I watched this class. J Jimmy McConnell won this class right there on that mare right there. But I was watching her. Uh huh. And I said if, because I thought she was making an outstanding show, I really did. And she ended up reserved behind Jimmy. Kayla Balkum took the blue, or took the reserve That's on nice. I'm a Dixie Dolly for Stephen and Nora Capper. And then I talked with Stephen, we ran an ad, and, uh, I told him, I said, if there's one out there that can be the first world grand champion two-year-old filly, she's got a good shot. Yeah. And there she is, <clears throat> two-year-old mare's world grand champion. I'm a Dixie Dolly and Kayla Balkan. That's one great move of oh, yeah. celebration. That's right. And I mean a great move. 
I'm a Dixie Dolly. She's about the Dixie Lyman, I believe. I think so, yeah. I was there getting some pretty good horses out there. Oh, tell me about it. I'm happy for Kayla, though. Yeah. I really am. I'm happy for the cappers. They, uh, they, they've been in this industry quite a while. Yeah. You know who started that horse? Yes, sir, I do. Who? Mr. Curtis Pittman. That's it, Curtis Pittman. Mm -hmm. On our amateur pony stallion. Hey, I don't care what they say. I like the one that won this class. Oh, yeah. I like him a lot. Mm -hmm. hey, I'm you, it was a real good class. Yes, it was. There's a lot of good horses in yeah. there, and I mean good ones. Oh, Look yeah. at there. Yep. There wasn't a slouch in the bunch. No, it was a river class. They just need my name on them. Yep. Right there? That's a good side hey, gun right there. Now. That's it. That is it. He's carrying the mail. That's the postman. That's right. <laughs> Rain or shine, here I come. Right there she is. Owner Amateur Pony Stallion winner, Dark Rain and Taylor Walters for the Molly Walters family. Well, she was outstanding. Oh yeah. She made two great shows. In my book, I'd have tied her this, in the World Grand Championship, I'd have tied that one right there. You see that, watch that horse walking, shaking, oh, yeah. shaking up yeah. towards that bride. He was reserve World Grand yeah. Champion. And you can tell by the crowd that they liked him a lot. Yeah. Carry the mail, girl, carry the mail. You know, nice these horse. horses that they show once and then they show back in that 10 day period. Yeah. It goes to show these horses are cared for immensely. They just don't realize how much care is given to these yeah. horses. Two year old Marin Gildan, or two year old Mare Section B, I'm sorry. Now this is one that, uh, right there. Yep. A great, great filly. Jimmer's country girl. A lot of good horses. There's a lot of good horses in that yeah. class. I'm going to tell you, the whole celebration, the classes that we had, they had some good horses that was in. You better believe they did. They had yes, some sir. great horses. We always have our conflicts with... Uh, with a USDA. Yeah. Jimmer's Country Girl and Josh Watts for Carol Baxter. Two year old married Section B winner. I say Marion Gildan so much that it, it just, it, I got to catch, I got to catch myself. Well, pretty much you used to see Marion Gildan yeah. together in two year classes. And so, celebration, they kind of separate them out. Yeah. Especially for this. Now, this was important. That Billy can walk, buddy. He can. I mean walk. Here's your amateur two-year-old stallion, section A. Here's your amateur class. I tell you what, this was there was some good horses oh, in yeah. this class too. But that known the rail was one that was putting it oh, on. Yeah. I mean he was flat walking. There's Bob. Makes you wonder how many of these will still be around the three and four year old. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right there, Walk the Lime and Justin Harney. For Justin Harney. I'll tell you what, now he had him clicking. Oh yeah. 
He fixed a slice that lime and put it in a shot of gin. <laughs> Look at there. Oh, yeah. Well, Justin's a pretty good jockey. Justin, you know, come from a long line. Yeah, Damn, a real top trainer. Amateur you 6 to 11 show pleasure. I tell you what, I, I have been expecting this all along because Allie Jo, every time you seen her with this horse, she kept getting better and better yep. and better. And people kept watching, watching, and watching. There she is, 6 to 11. I'm Coach Cal and Allie Joe Jacobs. You Very can easy going horse. Yeah. Well, you can tell every time that oh, yeah. she showed him this year. She was just getting better and better and better at showing oh, yeah. So you knew it was coming, you just didn't know when it was gonna click and hit. And she was the reserve world grand champion. I'll tell you what, that's pretty good oh, right yeah. there. I mean, you can't beat that. That young lady worked hard for it too. She did. I like to watch these kids that really work and practice and go for it. A lot of them think you just jump on a horse and go. Well, she's not one of them because she wants to practice. Out here, your owner, Amateur Western Park Pleasure. Kind of like I've seen the article that a bull rider wrote that uh, J.B. Mooney, uh -huh. he said that uh, you can call yourself a bull rider, but until you ride, you're not a bull rider. Yeah. And he said, and I don't mean just ride in the show ring, you got to ride multiple bulls. That you got to work for it, you got to earn it, and that's true. You're exactly right. Same thing here. You got to get in there, you got to ride, practice, get to where you and your horse are on the same page, then you go out and win your horse show. Right there at Boston Bay and Ann Evans, you got to do what this young lady did. She has tore all the pieces. Oh, yeah. And I like calling this. Watch this high five when she goes around the turn. <laughs> her and her mama. There they are. <laughs> that right there made my, my oh, yeah. day when I saw them do that. <laughs> you know she was tickled. Oh, yeah, she was happy. Oh, she was happy as could be. And did a great job. Amateur on four-year-old stallions. I'm gonna tell you, this was a good class. Oh yeah. Real good class. Jaden Jackson, she 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 rode. Oh yeah. I was real good. He was on that night. And she was in there with a lot of good horses too. I know she tickled Jack, uh, Jacqueline. Yeah. That was tickled to death over it. You know one thing that I, I like about this this walking horse breed. You can show one time and you might can get fourth, fifth, and don't get a ribbon. And you can come back next week and win the class. That's it. That's it. That's it in a nutshell. You know. You you can win one tonight. A few nights later, be down at the bottom. Be down at the bottom. <laughs> Jen's Black Scout and Jaden Jackson. For Jaden Jackson, amateur four-year-old stallion winner. That's a world champion right yep. there. That's why 
I always say, you don't never give up. You don't never no. know what happened. Yep. I know people have been in this industry 30, 40 years, never got a blue ribbon. I know some been in a year and got a blue ribbon. That's right. <laughs> right there, she was reserve world grand champion. Tell you what now, that's that's walking right there, oh, fellas. Yeah. That's getting it done. You know, for that horse to step like that in that rain, that ring like that, so yeah. wet and stuff like that, you know, it's you know, I thought for a while we was gonna make it through the celebration without the rain, yeah. but I was sadly mistaken. Owner amateur novice all day pleasure, section A. This is what it's all about. Yeah. Now that that's what I'd be in novice all day. Cause I am a novice. For one time, and then when you win that class, then you got it. You got That's the only thing. I want to win. I want to win. But once you win, you can't come back. Yeah. You out. Talked to a trainer the other day, and he said, I wonder how many years I'd have to wait before I could be an amateur. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> and it's just me. Have I ever quit training horses? I stayed out for a little while and come back. I think I still want to show him training the plan, but I wouldn't train. Oh yeah. I don't think I. Do. I don't think I can can go back down to that level of being amateur because you are cheating some amateur out of a of a class. Well, right there's a, there's a woman right there could be a trainer if she wanted yeah, to. Yeah, that's right. Pam Betts, 401k. Now she's shown a lot of performance horses, but she in the novice division. She's an amateur. Yeah. Pam Betts, I like the name of that horse, 401k. Tickled her. Owner Amateur Youth, 12 to 17 Western Country Pleasure. I tell you, they have a lot of fun riding them horses right there. Well, Lord, yeah. Some of my fondest times in the walking horse industry has been on trail rides. Yeah. And sometimes it's just three or four of us on it. But I have been on some of them when we'd have them down Bobby McNatt's or down in War Trace where you'd have a couple of hundred people. I wish they would store that back like I remember watching the videos that you used to do a long time oh, ago. I enjoyed that. Oh, we put CJ on a four wheeler. Yeah. And he'd meet us at different areas and get video. But now that was uh, some fine, Penintal did that, the one in War Trace, but Bobby did one down in, in uh, uh, Federal, or what was it, Lynchburg. Diamond at the Ritz and Lexi Smith, 12 to 15 Western Country Pleasure World Champion. And Kimberly Walden, there she is. That's one thing I can say about Kimberly and Terry. Perry, they, they let these kids use their horses, ride their horses, they share their horses with them. And that to me is good for the industry. All right. Well, we're gonna do some more, but you gotta do your job first. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee walking horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls, and there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411, and see if I can save you 
money on your communications. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, Ryder Cup standing, stallion reports, they even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right, welcome back. We're getting ready for our final section of the day, but it's more world champions, world grand champions. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, we, we had a Top to bottom, we had a good good show. Let's get some video rolling. There we go. Owner Amateur U 6 to 11, Gildings. That was my man there. Oh, yeah. The medalist. I love this class right here. When you got them little hey. kids riding them horses. I'd rather like watch that. them kids ride than anything. It's just, uh, I don't know. It, it just does me. When we get them out the barn and let them ride, yeah. I, I love watching that. But they, it goes to show number one that children can have a smile on their face having a good time and not yeah. have a cell phone in their hand. Oh, you're right. Here's Dollar Silver Collector and Gracie Jean Ware, your owner amateur youth 6 to 11 gilding winner. I had the classes mixed up, <laughs> but that, that just, Tom will forgive me. Gracie yeah. Jean made a great show in this. And right here is Dollar Silver Collector and Gracie Jean, reserve world grand champion. She made two great oh, yeah, shows. Yeah, she made real good shows. Granddaddy boy, he, he gets into them kids oh, yeah. and how them girls right down his alley. Right here's your owner amateur English Park Pleasure. This was a good class. to do some training videos uh, a little bit of here it is walk the walk and carol missile for russell enterprises and carol missile on owner amateur english park pleasure winner i walk the walk You're right about making them training videos and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. I mean, that's things that work. need to be. It, it, people don't realize that a little change in the shoeing, change in, it, 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 so many things can make a big difference in a horse. Owner amateur, 70 years and over, I qualify. Jerry, I ain't think you're a day old 50. I'm a day over, believe me, I'm a bunch of days over 50. <laughs> but I appreciate it. I do, I appreciate it. But everybody knows you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> you may think that'd get you a raise, but it won't. <laughs> but it won't. <laughs> right there's your band. Bob Adcock, owner amateur, 70 years and over winner. 
a keen thing. I was talking to somebody, and uh, they, they told me, they said, I'd give him some shavings for that. Well, <laughs> I, said, I don't think that'll work now, buddy. <laughs> Evidently, he's heard us talking about yeah. it. Here's owner amateur novice ladies, bears and gildings, B section. You know, when you look and you realize just how many people have been to the celebration yeah. that have never won. Yep. And you start looking at these novice classes in the different divisions and you realize that, hey, it, it takes time. Yeah, especially when you go looking at some of the riders and you recognize some of the riders that's in them classes that you've been seeing for years and years in there. Well, you see them at shows all over the place, yeah. but they never, look there, there was Marla Lovett. Lovett. Yeah. Now and she's won a ton. Yeah. But I was happy for that lady right there. La lady Elling, Kelly Manis, for Kelly Manis. I was tickled to death for her. And you could tell she was yeah. too. That's a beautiful horse. That is a pretty horse. Beautiful horse. Makes you wonder how many of these will be back next year. Yeah. In another class. On amateur park performance, Mares and Gildan. There's Baron. He moved that horse to the park performance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure did. Baron bought him two new horses. Yeah, I heard that. I heard he had bought him a couple of new ones. He bought him a couple of new ones and Paul sold one, I believe. Yeah. Here, I am, you know, and Jake Jacobs. I tell you what, I could that. This horse right here, I thought he won it all the way. Yeah, this horse is nice. I horse. really did. That's just a walking fool right there, buddy. Yeah. Bar none. And Jake, Jake just takes it in stride. Yeah. He worries more about Adelaide Joe than he does himself. You're exactly right. Go get him, Jake. Here, three-year-old stallion, Section A, Ryder Cup. Tell you what, when you look at these horses, even at three-year-old stage, each one of them, you can see the difference, difference in yeah. the way they walk. Mm -hmm. You know, these horses right here, you can watch the head shape. Yep. And see how together they are. Mm -hmm. by watching the head shape. I love that real smooth head shake. Yeah. Right there. I'm March Madness. And Casey Wright for Bill and Debbie Woods. I haven't heard how Billy is, but bless his heart. Three year old stallion, Section A winner. I'm March Madness. Three-year-old stay in section C. surprised. I, th I thought the crowd would be a lot bigger than it was. Well, I mean, not that we didn't have yeah. a good crowd. We did. But I just thought it would be bigger. Yeah. More. And here he is. Cavender and Knox That's Blackburn for Bruce and Robin McDonald. Right I'm going to tell you, I, this is one that I said would probably win it all. And I'm gonna pat myself on the back. Oh, he that one's a nice horse, real nice horse. 
Hawks came back. I mean, right there is one that y'all, everybody better keep watching him. Because he, he's going to continue to get, this is one going to continue to get better. There he is, world grand champion. Yeah. Cavender and Knox Blackburn for Bruce and Robin McDonald. Now that's walking, buddy. Beautiful horse, too. Yeah, really nice horse. Right here, owner amateur ladies, show pleasure. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Epic and give you the feel. No, no. I said, a Stevie Wonder bet right there. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could find somebody to do that for me. <laughs> In a class like this, you bet on second place. <laughs> <laughs> Who was second? <laughs> I don't remember. Okay, well, you know, once you see O Epic in here, you forget about everything hey, else. I'm going to tell you what, Epic's was just. There he is. Epic and Megan Hammond for Shamrock Farms. Four-time world champion, yeah. four-time world grand champion. He just keeps going. There he is. Yep. Him in the spotlight. You know, ever since he, he made such a great show in the rain, and they took that tail brace off, he'd been, oh yeah, he'd been a, I mean, one bad cat. Get it done, getting it done. Owner amateur novice ladies. I can't show in that class. We can fix your hair up. Nah, put a I'm, wig on. I'm a Republican. <laughs> Should have said that. <laughs> it was a good class. Ozark and April Jeffers. I was tickled for this lady. Oh, yeah. Brian Jeffers. Owner, owner, amateur, novice, ladies. She, she can say there's ever one thing. April, I hate to tell you this, you can't show in that class no more. Yep, you're right. You just walked right on out of it. Here's your four-year-old married and gilded canner, Ryder Cup. This is one of them classes. Oh yeah. Everybody's in there. Everybody's wondering who's gonna walk out with a big ribbon. You know, it's a shame that there he is, our girl Charlie and Tyler Balcom for Caitlin Peeler, your four-year-old Marion Guild and Canter winner. Pretty one right there, oh, yeah. buddy. Real nice. Hard girl, Charlie. Here's owner amateur ladies mares. Talent in this class. Oh, yeah. 
Cooper right there. That's oh, yeah. that. I mean, that's that is a walk-in haint if there ever was one. We'll bet on this class. I'll take limitless. No. <laughs> <laughs> She's limitless and Molly Walters for Kelsey Andrews, your owner amateur ladies mare's winner. I'm gonna tell you, Molly's been showing this mare for several years. I think seven. And I believe I'm right when I say seven. If I'm not, they can correct me. But that there is what she was after, and she got yeah. it. Owner Amateur Mares and Gildan World Grand Champion. She's limitless, and Molly Walters riding in the spotlight. Go get them. Yeah. And that's a beautiful sight right there. I was tickled to death for her. I was too. She's that's a good mare right there. Yes, it is. Real good. Real good mare. I've heard they've done some embryos yeah. or something, so we we liable to see some more limitless running around. I would say here. so. That suit me so. to a T. Tell you what, we're going to continue this next week, going back to the celebration and showing the. Uh, Winners of some classes and patting them on the back and and doing everything we can because I want people to see our horse at its best. Yep. And uh, who knows, some of them people may win another one. That's right. Can't can't ever tell. You, 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 you might win. No, you didn't show. Did you? Yeah, you did. You got what? Third, third place. Third place. Third place. Yeah. And he walked. <laughs> <laughs> He's here walking around through there. We got some great shows coming up too. North Carolina's coming up. Sparta's going to have a show. We're still trying to get a class sheet for that. Uh, you got Warren County, they're gonna have 15 classes, I think it is. Yeah. But uh, North Carolina, they always have a oh, big yeah, show. A show. Mm -hmm. Then they got Decatur, two yeah. nights. Then we're back at the Cal Sonic for three nights. And then we're at one of my favorite places. Yep. With Tunica, Tunica, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. I, will, uh, I will have to go eat at the blue top. You ever eat there? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, they got some outstanding food. Great food. But now that will be that will be a huge show. Oh yeah, that'll be a good show. Everybody got to get together and say bye. Yeah, that's right. Bye. <laughs> well Jerry, we're gonna I know you're working horses, so uh we, I guess we can just go work horses yeah, rest of the day. That's what we're gonna finish up doing. <laughs> Boom with some of these babies. So hey I've got one. Yeah. Hey, I was tickled I'll death. And I called it Jim Don just tickle for me. <laughs> All right. We will see y'all again next week when Jerry Williams will be back over here to visit, right? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. As long as we pay him to come, he'll come. Hey, don't make me no difference. I like <laughs> to be around you, Jerry. <laughs> Good. I'm glad to hear that. We won't pay you next That's week. That's right. <laughs> see y'all next week, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>